few months ago, Andy and Vivint Solar showed up at my house to give us a new solar energy system. Well, my dad likes it because it's been saving us money. My mom likes it because we're using that money to go on vacation. And I just think it's interesting. So Andy invited me to Utah to find out exactly what's going on with solar and his company. And wow, it's pretty here. Plus, he said they had a soda machine. Sold. These take care of all of our different inventory needs that we have across the company. Here at Vivint Solar, we're changing the entire process the way people get solar on their homes. Not just the way they pay for it, but the way we install it, the way it gets designed. And Javon here is one of our managers for the digital team who's working on an exciting project that'll make it easier for customers to get solar on their home. Hey Andy. Hey Javon. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Hey, how's it going? It's good. Awesome. Um, residential solar is becoming so big that Google is getting involved. Now, we're working with them on a project to make solar simpler than ever. Do you want to take a look? Sure. So you just type in your address like you would on Google Maps. You just, and then you find your house. There's my house right here. And then right from here, you can see if solar works for your home. You can see how much money you can save every month just by going solar. That's so awesome. Once you see how much money solar can save you, it's time to get a system designed. And that's what I do. Let's go check it out. Okay. Thanks, Javon. Thanks for coming by. Bye, thank you. I want to introduce you to Zach. How you doing, Zach? Good. Zach, this is Millie. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Zach is one of our designers here at Vivin Solar. And what he does is he takes all of the information that we get on site at a customer's home and prepares an AutoCAD design. Every house has its own unique shape and requires its own unique solar system. And that's what Zach does. He's building a custom design for each customer. So what he does is he takes an aerial image and copies the shape of the roof lines onto the AutoCAD program. He then takes the information from our site survey documents and makes sure that all of the right measurements are in place. So here we can see the maximum number of modules that we can place on a given roof section and the production of those modules. What do you think? I think that is so cool. Yeah, it really is. Thank you, Zach, for taking time to show us how this works. Yes, thank you so much. I have someone I want you to meet. Do you have a few more minutes? Yeah. All right, let's go check it out. OK, thank you. Morning, Greg. Hi, Andy. How are you? I'm doing well. I have a friend I'd like you to meet. This is Millie. Hi, Millie. Welcome. This is so amazing here. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Millie, Millie has a lot of questions for, for you, so I thought I'd introduce her to the CEO or the head of the company. I have some things I need to take care of. He'll be able to answer anything you have questions on. So I'll catch up with you guys a little later, okay? Perfect. Hey, thanks, thanks, guys. Andy. Do you want to have a seat? Sure. So what's the big deal with solar? Oh, there's so many things that are great about solar. I think probably my favorite thing is we help people save money. Do you know anybody that likes to pay their power bill? No. <laughs> I, I don't either. <laughs> and so we help uh, people save anywhere from 10 to 40% on their power bill. One of the things I really like about solar is we give people the ability to choose who they want to buy their power from. And so we give people energy independence. That's another really cool thing and something I like about uh, solar energy and what we do. So how many houses do you put solar on every year? Last year we did about 35,000. This year we're gonna do 55,000, and next year we're gonna do around 100,000 homes. So wow. uh, the company's going really fast, and people really like solar and the value that it provides. So how did you get interested in solar? Well, I was actually retired, and I got a call from the founder of the company, and uh, he said, how would you like to uh, join my company? And funny thing is, a couple days before that, my wife, was tired of me being retired. She says, you need to go do something more productive with your life. <laughs> and I said, I want to go change the world. My wife and I have always been very uh, environmentally conscientious, and so I got really excited about it because we're saving the environment, and I love technology. That is so great. That's so cool. Let's go on. So what is it that you like best about working here? Probably my favorite thing, in addition to the value we provide to our customers, is I like the people that I work with. We've got some amazing people. Work's a lot of fun, we work really hard, but it's just a fun place and amazing people. Hey, you let me draw on some of those glass doors? Sure, anyone you like, that's what we like to do. <laughs> Thank you. So Billy, what do you think? I thought this was so nice to know more about Greg and to learn more about Vivint Solar. Wonderful. Well, thanks, Greg, for taking the time to chat with her. I know you're a busy man. Well, thank you. It was a pleasure to meet you. And Andy, thanks for bringing Millie in. 
make sure I let you ride on whatever door or window you want. Okay. Hey, thanks again for coming. No, thank you so much. All right, have a great day. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Andy. So you've seen a lot here today at Vivid Solar. What do you think? I think that this is so incredible. What you guys are doing is amazing. Awesome. Do you have any more questions for us? Well, there is one more thing. And just like that, it was time to say goodbye. I came, I saw, I conquered. And they let me right on the glass window. Overall, I learned that solar energy is more than just charging my computer. These guys have some big ideas, and they were pretty nice. To learn more, go to vivantsolar.com. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.